Welcome to my efficient slayer guide for mains. With the addition of Torva and the Bulwark buff earlier this year, the slayer meta has changed significantly. Paging the majority of your task is no longer efficient. The Bulwark is now a 5 tick and can hit up to 52, uh, so it's very strong in multi-combat tasks. I've come up with a task list that gets you 200 mil attack and strength while going for 200 mil slayer. Uh, and the Slayer Rift still has a um, Slayer XP rate of almost 100k. This includes uh, jellying Necrils for around 60% of your tasks, and the uh, remaining 40% you will be doing with uh, Bulwark. Veldwark is also uh, more efficient to do compared to the Bloodfelds in the Mauritania, lab, uh, Maur Mauritania Labs with a Scythe. With all tasks, um, you want to have your non-spec weapon on the strength option. So you have to do uh, that way. You have to do less jelly necrols. So that's that's the task that is the, the lowest XP an hour. But in reality, no one basically starts with 30 mil, 13 mil combat flat. So please. Um, change the method and the bracelets you are using per task based on your combat to slayer ratio. For example, if your strength is higher than your attack, you want to do more neck work instead of jellying, or maybe white bracelets, skull fights, and etc. In this video I will be going over gear and bank setups, alts, tasks and how to do them, and a few minutes of gameplay for every task. When starting Slayer you wanna boost around 3k points with Wildy Slayer or Duriel, Skipping and Konar. Uh, I'm not going over how to do that, you can find the uh, guides and um, videos in the gear discord. Um, for unlocks you wanna unlock the Slayer Helm, Slayer Rings, Superiors and uh, stop the Wyvern. This one is really important since uh, it's basically an extra block for Fossil Island Wyverns. A lot of people know about this, so make sure to get it. Uh, task storage, uh, you don't have to unlock it at the start, otherwise you have to bo boost like 4k. You can just get it like down the line, it's not like that big of a deal, but it's kind of nice to store a task that you don't want to do or you want to save for a certain time. For the extensions, you don't want to extend any of those Dark Beast or Sukwa or, or, or Enku or whatever. Um, you do want to extend Bloodfelds, Abbey Demons, Necrils, and Dust Devils. Those four, those are the only ones you want to extend. The um, block list um, are Greater Demons, Hellhounds, Drakes, Worms, Gargoyles, and Cave Kraken. Those are the worst tasks with the highest weighting, so just get rid of those. And now for the task that you want to do. Um, this is a, the Slayer spreadsheet, um, so you want to do these tasks right here. Uh, Abyssal Demons, Dark Beast, Call Fight, Necreal, Smoke Devil, Black Dragon, Dagonaut, Bloodfeld, Sukwa and Dust Devils. As you can see here, the points per task is kind of low, it's like almost break even and can like fuck you over if, um, if you get unlucky, so... Um, if you do every 250 50th task um, at Konar, so to 250, 500, 700, and 1k, uh, you should profit enough points to just keep doing this list. But if uh, everything goes uh, goes south, you uh, want to do like steel drags sometimes, or uh, Anku, or Rune, or Eddie drags. Like uh, only when you get a uh, low amount of. Uh, low amount of monsters assigned on a task. And for other unlocks, uh, it's mainly diaries. You want to get the Death Elite for Kalfi task, so you can teleport there. Uh, the Karami Elite, so you can teleport to Turdel. The Current and Cabos for the um, Ash Sanctifier, so you get like 30 mil prayer XP from just doing Slayer. Pretty good. Uh, Lumbridge and Draenor for the 6th block, so you need to get a quest cape. Uh, Western Province is hard for uh, uh, access to Crystal Halbert and Mauritania Elite for the Bone Crusher with full XP, which also 
gives a little bit of prayer XP. And for the Bone Crusher, uh, the amount of charges that you need for the task list um, is around 250k charges. So that's not too bad. You can like basically get that in two months with uh, doing the daily if you have the elite. And for the Ashank to fire the charges, I don't know, but just put in more dead runes if it's running low, not that hard. Efficient banking and bank tab layout. Being good at uh, regearing uh, for tasks really helps with your uh, with maintaining a good slayer rate over time. And luckily, I made um, this uh, really handy bank tab uh, layout, and you can get uh, you can just copy the the thing I put in the description or in the paste bin. Um, and you can just uh, get it from the plugin up, the bank tab layout plugin, and you can just like copy it in your client. And before you wanna um, uh, start Slayer, I always like to um, take out 20 like items, prayer pots, or bracelets, doesn't really matter. Then um, disable the placeholders and take out Slay Helm and those items. Then fill your bank. Uh, put back the prayer pots and make sure to uh, fix the placeholder thing. And then equip your Slay Helm and Blessing. And that way you have these items like in the bottom, which are like always useful for uh, every task. And uh, when you bank them, like after a task, they, they don't go in. Currently I have a Calphite Slayer task, so if I wanted to gear for that, I just... Uh, my items for that. I'm geared. <clears throat> and let's say if I uh, finished my call fight task and I got uh, a mage task, I just press the, uh, these two buttons and just take out my mage gear with a slaughter if I had smokes or something. Then I'm good to go. And for the other items in the bank, uh, well, most of them are pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um, just your, your melee weapons at the top, mage gear, cannon, bracelets, uh, runes, like close to the mage uh, gear. And uh, I have the uh, runes for every demon, since you want to use um, smoke brass, they are pretty close here. And a stamina pot for baby blacks. Well, uh, you might uh, run out if you have uh, a lot of items with you plus a cannon. Uh, antidote for call fights. Food for occasional rune dragon tasks so are the insulated boosts if you're down bad for points. And if you're really down bad for points you want to use... Uh, uh, you want to do steel drags sometimes. But usually shouldn't happen. And these are for the um, charging your crystal helmet and arc light. Ring of Wealth is kind of useful for maging dust devils since uh, you don't have to pick up the coins with your alt. And that's about it. Now let's talk about alts and setups like how, uh, and how I like to set my clients up. Uh, this one is my main top left. I always prefer to have my main top left. Three alts is ideal for this Slayer list, so you can um, let the smoke alt just always camp in the smoke cave and use the, the bottom two for uh, spec transferring and luring epi demons. I also have made setups for every alt, um, so you can like instantly grab your items and, and gear if you, uh, if you need to. Uh, the top right is a smoke alt. The, this one is the Abbey Demon alt and spec transfer, and this one is just spec transfer alt. Basically, you want uh, 90, 93 Slayer Plus on the smoke alt for, for a task, of course. Um, you want 85 Slayer to lure Abbey Demons and 82 Constriction so you can uh, uh, spec transfer, and of course, Lunar Stone and 92 Magic. Uh, same goes for this one, but no Slayer requirement, just Construction and uh, Magic. And you want to... Um, I'll show it real quick. In your house, uh, I'll show it on, on this account. You want to um, get a Portal Nexus with just a uh, Corrent uh, Teleport in. 
because if you go from your pool it is actually one tick faster uh, I believe uh, to go to your portal nexus instead of going to the portal here so that it's gonna add up over time and it's easier to click when you get a spec transfer task like necreol or Rotfelds with the, with the bulwark you um, I always like to my main client like in the middle so I can like easier go uh, go diagonal between the clients for spec transferring instead of leaving the client here and have to go all the way to the bottom right to to spec transfer so that's kind of nice just put it over here I also made this uh, like do it all uh, Slayer alt tabs yeah, for people who don't want to use three accounts but you want to at least have uh, this one this one does require 93 Slayer and all the other stuff and you can just use one uh, like normal spec transfer alt don't have to get any Slayer requirements on it another really useful tip for spec transferring you can put on uh, entity hider and if you add all your accounts to the same French chat you can still see the accounts but all the other monsters are uh, are hidden so you, like it's easier to uh, to use the spec transfer on uh, on your main so you don't like misclick or anything like that it's really nice Abyssal Demon is the most common task from Duradel, so getting good at this task will really help you in the long term with your Slayer Raids. Uh, you want to use Smoke Barrage for this task, since it's way cheaper than Blood Barrage and only 3% faster, so it, it would be better off spending your money on Runners for RC to save time. Uh, you want to equip a Anti-Dragon Shield on, on the alt and then follow with your main, so you don't get hit. We're not gonna get even hit once, yeah? Oh no someone in this world nice so free world you wanna lure with your alt make sure you have a negative magic bonus negative 65 so you always splash and uh, you don't get teleported that way and on the main just uh, stay in those squares and with the alt you wanna just keep running forward like this Uh, Ring of Endurance is really good in the alt here. Just keep running back and forth like this. So you stack them up nice and uh, yeah, let the outer retaliate do the work. And uh, you should get uh, over 105k an hour in Slayer without superiors. And superiors will push it like over 120 almost. So, really good task. Dark Beasts, for this one you want to use a Scythe and Dragon Claws and you want to spec transfer yourself with your alt. Press 1, 1 and 5 for the teleport you're slayering. Have the altar already set up here. Set your cannon up, doesn't really matter where, I always put this square, doesn't matter. And a gloss switch can be useful but it's not that big of a deal actually, but if you can be asked to do it, sure, go ahead. Just keep spec transferring yourself. Speeds up the task by quite a bit.
we've got a callfight task. For this one, you want to use a scythe and max strength and a bulwark. Uh, the bracelets uh, doesn't really matter. If you want to go for Slayer XP, use Expeditious. If you want to go for more melee XP and AFK, you can use Slaughters. And for the middle road, you can use Ferocious. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. To get there, use your Desert Emmy. And I'd like to use the most Southern spot. You want to set up your cannon in this exact tile. And stand uh, northeast from it, since they are 3 by 3 And I will link the... The tile ground markers in the description, probably, or in the paste bin. Yeah, just uh, slap on the bulwark at the start. And uh, let the cannon and your sight out of the to the rest. This is a task where you'll be spending a lot of time at, so learning this will benefit you in the long run. Um, as I said earlier, you can uh, or you have to split up your Necreal task uh, with a ratio of around 60% with a Crystal Halberd and 40% with a Bulwark to get uh, the most efficient route to Tuna Bell Combats and Tuna Bell Slayer. I use two Spectre Brancer Alts for this. And I have uh, Entity Hider enabled, so I can just see my main slightly better. And you also want to keep it like the same um, yeah, same cycle uh, as with the blood files, just one out uh, spec transfers and the other one enters the, the catacombs. And yeah, pretty easy task, just uh, keep an eye out for the superiors. Once they spawn, you want to maybe stay with an alt there so you can uh, cast heal other. Or just keep running and just pay attention to your HP. Very straightforward task. XP rates around 80, 80 to 90k, depending on how good you can spec transfer. You also can put a looting alt here if you want to pick up like the rune square shields stuff like that but got a CBA for uh, for now and for uh, gloss you just want to use ferocious otherwise you'll get too much melee XP
jellying necrules is a bit more complicated than using a bulwark. Uh, you wanna gather them like manually one by one, just tag them with your with your main. This also requires two alts. And once you have them all aggroed, you wanna run between these tiles to stack them all up. Usually need nine specs to kill the entire stack, nine crystal halberd specs. The, um, the HP monster HP plugin is really nice for this one. And once they're like all, almost all dead, you wanna re restack them. You just can kill the stack if there are like a couple left. Yeah, perfect. And repeat. And once you, uh, while you're uh, tagging them again, you wanna give yourself spec back. Then uh, go to your POH with that alt. And make sure to like be back in time uh, once you're luring. So you have nine specs again, so you can just repeat uh, what you just did. So that's pretty much what you have to do for this task. And you need to heal yourself every once in a while with heal other. Since the dead spawns like to damage you a bit. You just need to like be back in time with this alt uh, once you are done with specking almost. Yeah, just repeat that. Smoke Devils are the best Slayer experience in the game. This requires an alt with at least 93 Slayer and a Smoke Devil task to do this efficiently. Set up your cannon on this tile on the alt. And lure the Smoke Devils uh, by standing behind the skeleton here. On your main you want to make sure you have auto retaliate off. And while you're luring the alt, uh, go to the cave on the main. And before you want to start barraging, uh, you want to set up a blocker so your task uh, does not deplete on the alt. You can do this by tagging off one of the smoke devils on the middle pile and standing on this square right here. Butte heart and augury on, prayer, you're good to go. Very straightforward task, experience rates can get up to 180k an hour or 185 if you're really good.
for black dragons, you want to kill the baby black dragons in Teverly Dungeon. You can either have your house set at Teverly and leave, or use your max cape or constriction cape to get there. Uh, you can bring a stamina, because you might run out if you uh, if you bring like uh, more weapons like bulwark and stuff, but you should be fine without, uh, without a stamina, but I usually just take it anyway. I used the last room since this one has a additional spawn compared to these two. And usually I just would use this task as uh, it's just like a, a, a pass task, just go to the toilets or something and uh, come back and your task is done. So that you can here if you're gonna pay attention and stand in this square, just glass back the one stuck. Cannon. And yeah, just stay here and, and wait. Basically, <laughs> not that much uh, tips and tricks for this one. And also make sure to have them unextended, otherwise, you're gonna get like 60 of them, which is not good. This spot has uh, double hits on these two. You can also run over here. So we get double hits on that one as well, but it doesn't really matter since it's so quick anyways. For this task, you want to use the fairing in your house to get there, and a bulwark and rapier is uh, best here. And the bulwark really shines with this task, so make sure to bring your spec transfer alt uh, so you can get the best rates. Experience rates can get up to 105k an hour. Using the room light cannon spot is just fine, so set up your cannon, pull up. Prayer. And once you have a, a decent amount of diagonals, like gathered in the middle, you just uh, wanna release your bulwark specs and just keep spec transferring. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit with uh, bulwarking since there are not that, mu that many uh, diagonals gathered in the middle. Yeah, that's about it. You can heal yourself with heal order if needed.
Plotveld. The best way to do this task is in the catacombs with a bulwark and a scythe. Uh, the experience rates can get up to over 100k an hour if you're really good at, um, at the bulwarking and spec transferring. This requires two spec transfer alts and you want to stand on this exact square. Pot up, pray melee and piety. And just launch the bulwark specs at the start. Then when you don't have specs to switch to the scythe and... Uh, you want to keep up like a rhythm with your alts when spec transferring. Like if one alt um, gives the spec, the other alt wants to enter in the in the catacombs. Basically, that's kind of the the, the cycle that you want to keep up. Want to zoom out a little bit so you can just one click there with. Uh, With the GPU plugin. For Suquas you want to either use a scythe or a rapier, I'm gonna show the rapier now. Uh, for spec weapon you want to take uh, claws and bring your cannon as well, teleport to your house. And you want to bring your alt and uh, just keep spec transferring your main. While you're unleashing claw specs. And this is actually the correct tile to stand on. And just uh, yeah, use your claw specs at the start and just spec transfer with the main. Should be around uh, close to 70k an hour. And yeah, that's about it. I got a curved bone. Epic.
finally got a dust devil task. Uh, this one you wanna just use mage like the the old days and uh, use expedition bracelets for the best melee XP like overall for your slayer list. But yeah, you can also slaughter them if you need less melee XP. You can slap a bulwark spec to lure them if you were to time with your alt, I guess. Then just uh, stack them with your alt and barrage with the main. This style is the best uh, tile to stand on since there are two, uh, two spawns like over here and over here, I think. Yeah, other than that, uh, Ring of Wealth is uh, really good here, so you don't have to pick up all the coins with your alt. And uh, I just brought my Epidemon alt here with uh, Trident, that is uh, pretty nice to use here. You can um, like unequip the splash gear with your uh, with your alt, so you can uh, help your main with speeding up the task a bit. Yeah, very easy task. When a superior spawns and he wanders away, just uh, blood blitz him and uh, burn onto the stack. Also do a slightly different task list. This includes uh, Dustwark and uh, Mauritania Bloodfelds instead of Feldwark in the Catacombs. This is slightly worse Slayer XP an hour, but uh, it is way more chill since no Feldwark. Uh, and Dustwark is actually a really chill task. It's uh, lower APM than the other spec transfer task and still pretty decent rates. You want to use uh, Ferocious Claws for this one. Stand on this square, I think. Not really sure. Maybe one square over here is also fine. And just uh, work. And you want to keep up the same same rhythm as uh, all the other spec task. One out gives the spec, and the other one uh, is kind of like entering the catacombs. It's really a reclined task. XP rates are around 80k Slayer without superiors and like 90k with superiors.
You can also kill the Bloodfelds in the Mire Ditch dungeon. I'm gonna go there with uh, varying code DLS. You wanna do this task if you already have a lot of attack XP or you just wanna AFK like make dinner or something and just do this task on the phone or whatever since it's really AFK. Blocking the shortcut is uh, kind of helpful for this one. You need uh, 93 agility and 78 mining I think for this. And then just keep running over here. Meanwhile you also want to bring your alt here. I'm going to place your cannon on this tile. This is one east from the rune light tile. And over here and keep focusing the most northern northern uh, blood fell since you also get the, the third hit on this one usually just uh, bulwark or class doesn't really matter keep focusing this one when it's uh, spawns And once you have arrived on the alt, you can spec transfer every five minutes. And you want to stand over here in the corner, so uh, one of the blood felts doesn't get stuck behind this table. That can happen. So the yeah, your XP rates are slightly better. And if you do this with slaughters, you also need to drop some prey pots over to your main with your alt, since you don't have enough. Yeah, that's about it for this task. Very easy. Pretty good XP rate. Slightly worse than doing it with the bulwark, so that's why this one is less efficient, but it's very AFK. So most people prefer this one over spec transferring. And nice server lag. -like.